Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Superwoman on a new digital TV channel F15. My name is Heidi Eichinger from the German language edition of Forbes and on this broadcast I'm talking to experienced leaders, founders and executives who share lessons learned to increase diversity in their companies in order to be more productive, more efficient and hopefully more happy. Today, it's my great, great pleasure to introduce you to Pascal Raman. She's Vice President and General Counsel, Europe, Middle East, Asia and India at Flex. So just to start with Pascal, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself, your professional background and how you found your way to Flex? Sure. So I, I'm of mixed heritage. I'm half French, half Indian. Uh, I was born in India. I spent my formative years in the United States. As far as my legal education is concerned, because I'm a lawyer, uh, I took my legal education in France and in the UK. Professionally, I've always worked either in big international law firms or in large uh, industrial manufacturing engineering groups in, in Europe, in the US, but always with a global reach. And currently I'm located in Vienna, which is a Flex's European headquarters, and I'm loving it. Let's come back to you a little bit more and, and your core business, let's say. You are uh, leading several teams around the globe. I mean, it's not only that you're leading like your Viennese or your European team, you have teams all over the globe and your day has as well as ours, only 24 hours a day. So how do you manage to do it? Uh, and what do you think is, uh, and COVID showed it probably, uh, what do you think is the most important thing now, like in, in, vir in leading virtual teams and what do those teams need most at those difficult times? I, 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 I think, you know, teams in difficult times, and I mentioned this a little earlier, really need leadership. And what that means for me personally is uh, being decisive. Um, uh, you know, when there's so much unknown, there's so much nuance, there's so much uncertainty, there's so much newness. As, as we mentioned earlier, it's really, really important to be decisive. I think it's also important to be positive because people are scared and people are vulnerable and people are worried. And I'm not saying we, we paint or I paint a rosy picture, but I think it's important as a, as a model to remain optimistic, to show the way and to, to lend a positive tone to everything that you do in, in leading times leading teams, I'm sorry, in these difficult times. And, and then I think the third thing that is very important is to be compassionate, is to really hone in to that emotional intelligence of, 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 of that one has, to understand people, to put yourself in their shoes, to understand what are their fears, what are their vulnerabilities, what are their issues, what are their problems? Because I think in, in times of crisis like that, Compassion, empathy goes, you know, goes a very, very long way. And then finally, I would say to stay connected, you know, update people, be in touch with people. And you need that so that you can move in very dynamic times with, with agility and purpose. And uh, the more you stay connected and, and keep people informed, the, the more they feel part of a larger team. Uh, did something shift in your own personal mindset during those times of the lockdown? I love that question. <laughs> um, I, 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 I love that question because I think something has shifted, you know, and one of the things that I think personally that has shifted in me during the lockdown is I pushed boundaries. I went into areas that I never went into before. I want to ask you uh, this last one question. How important is it for you as a female leader to have 
uh, a female CEO? That's also a, a nice question. It's a good one. And uh, the, way, the way I'd answer that is that it's well recognized, Heidi, that uh, organizations benefit from diversity. Um, but for me to have brevity, uh, a female CEO, uh, it's more about her leadership and what she brings as a leader in, in terms of her role modeling. Don't get me wrong. I mean, diversity for us as a company is extremely important. It's a defined goal. We have metrics. We have key performance indicators on it. There's an expression that I like a lot. Uh, and and, and the, the expression that I like a lot is find your middle. And what that means for me is be centered, but be open to difference, diversity, be in the middle of things. And I hope um, through my background, as you said, my, my, my mixed background and through my leadership style, I embody that middle. <laughs>